Today we had a power outage just randomly on a Monday afternoon. The power went out. Not a cloud in the sky, but that's not what this video is about. When the power came back on, I went to go edit some YouTube videos and I keep my footage on the NAS drives within my network. This is my Zima Cube where I keep my working footage like on NVMe storage or flash SATA storage just so I can access it quicker over my multi-gig network. And yes, that's a 12 gig, small form factor, ultra slim, low power A2000 GPU in my NAS. Long story short, AI NAS fun things. Anyway, my ongoing issue has been when power goes out, this does not auto boot back up. And I went into the settings and there's nowhere in the Zima OS settings for you to like re-enable that or within BIOS on this. So when I checked Dr. Google, there's a jumper that needs, well, jumped, changed over. And this is what it looks like on all of the images on the official Zima website. Mine looks a little different. Ah, there we are, yep. So the three pins on the top here, this guy, looks like it is the auto power pinout section I need. And over here shows auto is one to two, normal is two to three. Uh, since it's not booting at power on, I'm assuming this is two and three. So I'm gonna jump it over. But just a heads up, if you are running into the same issue and you have a Zima Cube, not the Pro, but the regular Zima Cube, you might have a different looking pinout situation here than they actually show on the website. So I'm gonna jump that pinout, wish me luck. All right, here we are, moment of truth. Hey, that fixed it. Nice. No smoke? That's a good day in my book.